There's an awful lot of clips on the market that you can use, and one here is actually not even designed for planer boards, but it's the Dubro Red Downrigger actually release. And we did a little bit of modifications there with drilling a couple holes in so we could fit this on the board just like you would a regular release, so it's gonna stay in position there. And you just wanna have a little small flathead screwdriver with you because you're gonna be able to adjust that tension just like you would anything else. But here's kind of the trick when you're using these. Once you have your bait out to depth, you're gonna to wanna to take this, and pop it in. And you're gonna to wanna to set these tensions just like you would a downrigger release or anything else. But here's the trick. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna spin this board just like that four or five times, something like that. Then the side back here that's going to the lure, we're gonna hook our release in. And I like to do this with some type of release that has a pin, not a regular one. And we wanna have a little bit of slack in there. And when you do that, that's gonna basically hold that in nice and tight. It's gonna lock that in. But what we can do is, is when a fish when a fish hits, we can pop that out and we can kind of use this like a bobber almost. And just like a big board system, we can allow this to come to the back of the boat. So don't crank right away. Allow the momentum of the forward momentum of the boat to swing that around. This will just be right on the surface and you're gonna have this right out the back and that way you don't have to cross over on lines. Now you just wanna make sure like using big boards, no different, that you don't wanna have a lot of line difference between the lures from side to side because then they'll actually carry right in. But little adjustments there with the Dubro downrigger release and you can make that work for your planer boards and have a lot more efficiency.